non-Muslim brother who can speak English. Test, test. Good evening, sir. I would like to ask you some questions. Sir, um, uh, I'm afraid to identify myself as a non-Muslim, but I can't lie to myself that I have this various doubt to Islam. Uh, so I ask you to clarify this. Um, I would like to ask you some questions that I think it's Brother, quite are important. Are you a Muslim or are you a non-Muslim? I am complicated. You're born in a Muslim family or non-Muslim family? I, I was born in Muslim family, but I have these doubts in my mind that can go. Inshallah, wait for some time. Inshallah, you you will be third in the queue. First, we'll ask a non-Muslim no, born in non-Muslim family. Sir, sir, but sir, we have to follow the rules, brother. But sir, if you it's, say you're a it's my family, but it's not me. Are you a non-Muslim or a Muslim? I, I'm afraid to say that because I fear to God. Okay, fine. I know that you're born in a Muslim family, but now your faith in Allah has gone. You may not be believing in God, correct? Uh, no, I'm not atheist, but I might agnostic. Agnostic? Okay, what's the question? Okay, I hope that I didn't get sin from Allah. I mean, okay. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions that I think it's quite important for me uh, and um, I've been kept this for my whole life and I think it's you are the most suitable person that can answer my questions my first question is um, most of us as a Muslim we all know that Khamer or alcohol is no longer allowed in Islam for a long time ago but why it doesn't speak for slavery why it hasn't been prohibited yet until now uh, because the second question it's related actually brother, the second brother, question brother, is brother, brother wait there are many people waiting in the queue no no no, no. but wait. it's related sir please brother. Please, wait. The Brother, second question is: We have to follow is, the rules and regulation. But there we are can. Hundreds of people waiting in okay. the queue. We have to be just. Yeah, there yeah. Are four microphones. It's it's, it's first not. Of all you broke the queue. It's if you. It's not a first. It's not a second question. It's still related. So it's not a second question. And we can actually, if we have one, what I learned that we can actually having, having intercourse with them out of marriage it's just blowing my mind and as long as hard as I try to make it logical but it's getting more illogical okay, I've got the question I've got a question about that. Uh, and that's ask? that's the questions the the first is is uh, whether you finished your question you want to have more question no you have already asked two questions yeah I've, I've said to you two questions like, Brother, you can ask only one question. First yeah, of I mean, all, you shouldn't have been asking a question. I gave you a chance. I was kind enough. You right. asked a question. You want to ask one more question. You asked the second question. No. Now you want to ask a third question. No, no, I don't want to ask the third questions. It's I just... got the question. Okay. Yeah, I repeat okay. the question. Okay. Let uh, me repeat the question. Most of us know as a... Brother, most... will you finish or not? You have already finished your question. Yeah, okay. You finished your question, yes or no? Yeah, so, so, could you please give me... If you have not me... finished your question, you have to go behind the queue. I have finished my question, and could you please give me some clearance towards that? Thank so if you. you keep, if you keep quiet, will I be able to say? Yeah. You are so confused. You are keeping on talking and talking and talking. After the question is over, you have to listen to the answer. The but brother I... said he's confused. Right. He's born in a Muslim family, but he's gone away. He believes in Allah, but is agnostic. And he's saying, like in Islam, Khamar alcohol has been banned. Why hasn't slavery been banned in Islam? Question number one. Question number two, that how can you have sex with what your right hand possesses? Second question. 
what, what uh, I didn't catch it. Please, could you repeat the second question? Brother, you're wasting the time now. All right. Okay. The oh, answer. you want to give a big lecture on each question? Pakai headset aja, pakai headset. No. Do you want me to answer or will I take the next question? I want you to answer it, please. No, I understand it. What more do you want to touch? Already two questions over. No, it's it's two questions. About, Sorry? About the slavery. You told what? having sex with the slave. I cannot think about it. That's it, Kalas. What, do you want I, to add something I mean, to it? Yes, please answer it because... Oh, if you I keep quiet, I'll I, answer it now. If you keep quiet, I'll answer it. Ma, ma, mas, bagaimana dia mau jawab? You are... You are confused, brother. I can see you on the screen. What you are saying, you are understanding. The brother asked two questions. Number one, that alcohol is private in Islam. Why is slavery private in Islam? Point number two, how can you have sex with the slave? As far as the first question is concerned, that why is slavery not private in Islam? There are various verses of the Quran which encourages you to free slaves. And the Arabic word used is what your right hand possesses in the Quran. Allah talks about what your right hand possesses. And when the Quran was being revealed at the time, that time, prostitution and sex was very common. Allah bought a prohibition that you cannot have sex except with your wife and that which your right hand possesses. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings the restriction that you cannot have sex with anyone except what your right hand possesses and your wife today in most parts of the world you can have sex with anyone and everyone do you know that you go to america the american statistics tell us that a man has eight different sexual partner before he settles down with one and after he settles down how many more does he have it's not mentioned so according to the american statistics he has eight different sexual partner prostitution is very common in islam prostitution is prohibited Adultery is prohibited and I said in my lecture now your question why is slavery allowed? The reason is that what I can think of that Quran has not abolished slavery It has told you it has encouraged you to free slave If you do a sin, okay free a slave. It has always encouraged freeing of slave What I can think of why Islam has been abolished is because it is the only religion which shows you a way that if it comes back it has the rules and regulation today if you compare to what your right hand possesses in islam the right hand possesses when you have a war and when you capture the woman we say what your right hand possesses today in english it will be called pow prisoners of war if you see the un charter of the world today how you treat a prisoner of war and if you know what USA has done to Guantanamo Bay have you heard of Guantanamo Bay? brother have you heard of Guantanamo Bay? I haven't heard of it I have not heard have you heard of Guantanamo Bay? yes or no? yes yes Mashallah. Guantanamo Bay is a prison created by USA mostly to keep the Muslims there all the human rights are violated there all the human rights are void in Islam what your right hand possesses in Islam in the prisoners of war they are let free they aren't kept in closed wires or closed walls all the countries in the world when they have prisoners of war they have barricades they have got jails they have got prisons where they are enclosed in Islam they are let free only thing they should not run away and then these prisoners these what your right hand possesses has got rules and regulation you cannot unnecessarily torture them you cannot overburden them you have to give them food today's prisoners of war everything goes on they are humiliated they are tortured there is homosexuality everything what you are so if you compare the human charter of the UN Charter of Prisoner of War and compared to the rules and regulation of the Quran at least the Quran has a system of how to take care of these prisoners of war which is not then humankind 
the rules and regulation laid down by the Quran for a prisoner of war is far superior than any country in the world. You show me one country in the world which has better rules and regulation than the Quran for prisoners of war. Do you know of any country? Brother, do you know of any country? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Therefore, you're confused. So I believe that Quran, though it has encouraged the freeing of slaves, it has not abolished because just in case if it comes back, Quran has the rules and regulation. And regard having sex with what your right and possess is. Today there is no war going on, the way explained in the Quran. So there's no question of having what your right and possess is. Today we don't have it. At that time, prostitution was very common. Adultery was very common. Women were looked down upon. So Quran has brought a restriction. The men cannot have sex with anyone except what who you marry and what your right hand possesses. And Allah further says in Surah Nur chapter 24 that if you do not have the means to give maher or get married, then marry a what your right hand possesses and give her freedom in maher. That means the Quran is encouraging. Marry what your right hand possesses and give in her maher her freedom. So here Quran is showing a way how to stop the evil practices and comes to the straight path. And this is what is mentioned in the Quran. Hope that answers the question. Sir, so it's not out of marriage. Sorry? I mean, this, the having intercourse, it's not out of marriage. It can be within marriage, it can be out of marriage. But today, there is no question of having what your right hand possesses because today, there is no Islamic war being fought. Point number one. Uh, this is talking about the time when the Quran was revealed. Do you understand? It yeah. can take place again tomorrow. So yeah. that's the reason Allah hasn't abolished it. So here it says, you can only have sex with your wife or that which your right hand possesses. That's it. Hope but, that answers the question. But there is so many group uh, called themselves, I mean, label themselves as a Muslim, but brother, they if interpret... somebody is calling themselves Muslims and not following the Quran, I'm not to blame. They are pseudo Muslims. What I've given you is based on the Quran. If anyone who calls himself Muslim and doesn't follow the Quran, he's to blame. So to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslim, read at the Quran. Hope that answers the question, brother. Can we have the next question, please? Okay, thank you.